How did a fighter jet shoot itself down? How is that even possible? In 1956, at the height of the Cold War, the United States was actively testing cutting-edge aviation technology. Among those innovations was the F-11 Tiger, a supersonic fighter jet meant to become the pride of the Navy. Its main advantage? Speed. But no one expected that very speed to cause one of the most ironic aviation incidents in history. Test pilot Tom Attridge took to the skies for a routine flight. Flying high above the ocean and completely alone, he decided to test the jet's 20mm cannon. He fired a short burst, and the steel shells shot forward. Nothing unusual, at first. But immediately after firing, he descended, all while flying at incredible speed. Then, suddenly, Tom felt a jolt. Something hit the aircraft. Engine power dropped. The plane shook. Smoke began to rise. Warning systems showed damage. At first, Tom thought he was under attack. But the sky was clear. No enemy in sight. The F-11 Tiger was so fast, it caught up to its own cannon shells. Emergency landing in a forested area. The jet caught fire. But the pilot survived. Alive, though without his aircraft, and with a new reputation. The man who did the impossible. Yes, Tom Attridge became the first, and probably only, pilot in history to shoot himself down. And the F-11 Tiger went down in history not just as a supersonic fighter jet, but as the aircraft that outran its own bullets and common sense.